Hey guys, welcome to my spoiler talk for Kong Skull Island. So, the first thing I wanted to go over was the characters. I actually liked them and found them entertaining. I thought that they were... I didn't mind when they cut from the monster action back to the characters. I actually enjoyed them. My favorite one was Samuel L. Jackson. He's pretty much the Robert Shaw from Jaws of this movie. You know, the character Quint who just like slowly loses his mind and becomes obsessed with killing the shark. That's pretty much Samuel L. Jackson in this movie. And I liked it. I liked that, that they went for that angle that, you know, Samuel L. Jackson is out to prove that man is king and not Kong. And I really liked that angle. I thought it was interesting. John Goodman's character was pretty interesting. I didn't find him as interesting as, you know, maybe Ken Watanabe's character of Dr. Serizawa in, in the 2014 Godzilla movie, but I still thought he was a lot of fun. Tom Hiddleston's character is pretty generic. Uh, there wasn't much to say about him or Brie Larson. Although I did like John C. Riley's character. Surprisingly, I think that, you know, his comedic element wasn't that bad or distracting. I actually really was rooting for him and wanted all these people to go home, especially John C. Riley. I wanted him to be able to see, you know, his family again after being stuck on that island for all those years. I also really liked the natives in the movie. They were really interesting and they weren't, they were an interesting take on the Kong natives and everything. Thing. I really liked the way that they did it, and I love the way it's shot. The cinematography was beautiful in their village. As for the other monsters in the movie, though, they weren't that interesting. The skull crawlers were kind of, they were kind of disappointing. And I really do wish that we could have saw some, you know, regular dinosaurs in the movie and everything, which that's what I wanted to say for Spoiler Corner, because I didn't want to spoil it, the fact that there wasn't really, you know, the classic Kong monsters that we saw in the original movies. But... I still like the skull crawlers enough. They just weren't that interesting to me. I do love the death move that Kong did on the main skull crawler, though, where he like wraps the tongue out and just like rips out like all the insides and everything. That was awesome. I loved all the little references to Godzilla and Monarch and everything. You know, you you feel like that this is a universe of monsters. The Kong fight at the end was really, really fun. I loved it. I had a great time watching Kong kick ass. I mean, it was just like, you know, the way he did all those moves. And when, you know, shit was about to get real when he had, like, that chain and that fan. And he just comes out and he's beating his chest. Man, that was awesome. I also, the post credit scene where they show, like, you know, this cave paintings of Godzilla, Mothra. Anybody notice the two little twins that were painted next to Mothra in there? I thought that was really cool. They also showed Rodan, and, you know, you get the, like, the cave painting that's prophesizing Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah. It is so much fun. You know, you hear the, both their roars at the end. It's really great, and I really love that, you know, they made this little shared universe centered around this monarch company. The characters were a lot of fun, and that's really what I wanted to talk about here in the spoiler corner was, you know, the fact that this is in the Godzilla universe. And that's, I don't want to take too much away from King Kong, because King Kong in this movie is awesome. I loved watching him, just, you know, you could feel, he felt like a character, and you were rooting for Kong the whole movie. Overall, guys, all I gotta say is I can't wait for King Kong vs. Godzilla. But first, we gotta go through Godzilla King of Monsters. One idea that I was hoping would pop up in this movie is that maybe Rodan would pop up in this movie and Kong would fight him, but unfortunately, we didn't get that. But I wasn't really expecting that, though, either. Overall, guys, like I said, I really enjoyed the movie and I highly recommend it. So that's it for me, guys. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.